Yeah, you look great. Oh, How you been? I'm good. How are you? Did you, you? recently get married? Ah, uh, yes. It's been almost one year now. Oh my gosh. I know. Did you break any hearts? By, by I don't think camp? so. Not even one. No. Definitely not. Oh, uh, you made some heart happy though. <laughs> I bet, right? I sure hope so. <laughs> See what he thinks about that. All right. Well, here we are at the Lighthouse School. <laughs> yes. It's the end of the season. It is. What's yep. happening here? Well, today we have our carnival, which is grades small school all the way up through the eighth graders have created their own carnival games. I don't Ooh. know if you're panning out here, but we have we will. reincarnation station, you could have your fortune told, we have uh, human bowling, there is an array of games. You have candy as a prize, which is always a big hit, and um, it's a good time for everybody. So it's a really nice is, mix. Of is, it, is it to, to end the season, to end yep. the school year. It's been is this a celebration, as far as I know, for a long, at least maybe nine years or so. There are some people visiting, I think, who are checking out the Lighthouse School to, you know, get a feel for oh, it and okay. have their kids meet some of our kids. So it's nice to see some new faces. As so well. how is that? How's enrollment going? Oh, great. It's great. Yep. The downtown campus is really incredible. I have to say, last night was our graduation for the eighth graders. Yep. And it was such a beautiful evening and a lovely celebration, and we really um, felt proud to be a part of this school. Human scavenger hunt? Indeed. Can I please? What is it all about? So, uh, if you want to do hard, she does. Here's you. This is our customer. You give them one. I don't know. That means they put on. Oh, the, they go in front. I see. Yeah. And then they will give them another one. And then. What does that say on there? Funny bone? Like funny face boy. Oh, a funny face boy. And then. Um, then yeah. you. Oh, you guys look great too. I have a tail. I see that. If someone were thinking about the lighthouse school, which I have to admit that I. My son went yes. for three years here and yes. he absolutely loved it. Did. And we did too. <laughs> what what size are the classes? They're really small. My class has 11 kids right now. Yeah. The small school has maybe eight or seven or eight, nine. Hi. What are you doing? What is this? A homework machine. A homework machine? What, explain what that does. It's for two tickets. Take this, okay? I'm doing an example. Here, take the homework. What's the approach to, to this school? How would you describe the White House School? I would say we do lots of hands-on learning. So, for example, my class just learned about Africa this spring, and we had a parent who had been to Africa come in and share food and treasures from her trip, and we went to the zoo in Boston yesterday. Okay. Um, they made uh, soapstone carvings and all kinds of crafts and heard stories that really celebrated um, the culture of Africa. Now, when you when a when a parent comes to the Lighthouse School and they're thinking, well, is this the right school for me? Maybe maybe I I, I need to be my son needs more academics or my daughter needs you know something more concentrated. How does the Lighthouse School? How do you react to that when somebody says that? Um, I think you really have to visit with our students to get a sense of how amazing they are and how the, mm, their sense of learning is such that it encompasses everything in life so they're taking it all in and it's not that we're in school and here's your book and you need to sit at your desk it's more of a um, all-around approach unicorns let's see <laughs> i've never painted a unicorn on a face before but i can try do you have any suggestions? It's okay if you can't do it. I, I can try. If you can't I just do need it, some if help. If you can't do it, I would just like a tiger. All if right. you can't do the unicorn. He's kind of here for a while. Yeah, I can do it again. I'm going to do it again. You've been here for a while. Yes. How long? Seven years. And you so you've seen kids that go off to the public school. Yep. How is that? Been, how do they adapt? I think for one, your son Harry is doing fabulous, he is. right? He's he very is. happy. He is. I think um, it's important to take into consideration what every individual child needs yeah. and, um, you know, to give them the tools so that when they get into a maybe a bigger environment, they um, are confident in who they are. So they have that moving forward no yeah. matter what. So when you, when you look for teachers, 
is it are you always looking for teachers and what kind oh. of teacher what's the hmm. what is the prerequisite for being a teacher at the lighthouse school um i mean i don't i you're a teacher a so question. what would yeah i don't know if we are i think we are um yeah we're always keeping in mind great people who are interested in in teaching in this fashion and yep. um who are learners themselves who have a, a lot of um, projects going on so that you know that's always brought to the table to our students so who's that Declan. Declan, look how big you're getting every every time i see you how's the basketball coming great are you watching the finals too yes who do you want san antonio me too good for you buddy this is how you want miami he goes, he's on and off again. How's school going? Good. You love it here? Yes. All right. Oh, yeah. Talk, Dad says talk about World Cup. Today it starts. Yes. Who's your favorite team? Portugal. Oh, we have to play Portugal. Yeah. The USA does? Yeah. You're going to root for USA though, aren't you? No. Why? Because I like Portugal. Because you like who on the team? I like their defender. What's his name? Pepe. Huh? Pepe. When, when you were thinking about being a teacher, mm -hmm. and here you are seven years later okay. teaching, how, what's it, how would you, how do you feel about that right now? Oh, well, it's bittersweet right now, especially because tomorrow is our last day. So yeah. I've had my class for two years now, and throughout the two years, I am just amazed at how much they've grown and having a small class you're so in tune with every you know challenge they need and every conversation that takes place and you really have a sense of pride in what they're able to do so I just I love my students very much and everyone at the school very much and you love your your job I mean I you do. like being a teacher I absolutely would you do. encourage uh, obviously you must of course yeah I'd because say don't we need more teachers anyway good teachers come on in and, and check it out yeah okay Get your uh, running shoes on. Get ready to <laughs> get ready to roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it's good to see you, Kate. Good to see you too. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being here. You want to read yeah. my fortune? Sure. So you're the fortune teller. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like your crystal ball. Thanks. Sure. Okay. Where do we start? I will pick your fortune. You will change the f future. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I'm glad to hear that. I hope it's in a positive way. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's in a positive way. Oh good, thank you for telling me that. Okay, well you're doing great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs>